Today's video sponsor is BetterBoat.com. On their website, you'll find all the products needed to keep your boat clean. You'll be happy to have them on board after a fishing trip like this one. Five in the morning. Ramp is filling up. Good morning. Good morning. Ready for the opener? Oh yeah, let's do it. Good morning. Good morning. Ready for the opener? Yes, absolutely. All right, we got not rock fish gear with us today. Tuna gear. Crazy how times are changing. All right, big kill bag. Hoop nets are up front. Got them covered right there just so they don't rub on the boat at all. All right, heading out in a foggy morning. Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. It's the crab opener, but unlike anyone I've done before, we're starting off with tuna. Can you believe it? Reports are still pretty good. People are catching some bluefin out here, so it was hard to come out and not go for them first. So I got my friends with me today, Chris and Eric. And we're hoping to get uh, Chris his first bluefin tuna, as you saw, or maybe you didn't. Eric and I got one last trip out. Really excited about that. And uh, yeah, for crabbing, Got the crab opener, so I have some bait bags already stuffed up here with albacore head and herring in there, but we'll get to that later and the hoop nets are up front. But for now, let's get trolling and see if we can start off our crab opener with a bluefin tuna. All right, wish us some luck. So that's the first one we're gonna send back. Gonna get it um, probably 360 yards. I think that's what we're gonna do on this one. I have that marked on this reel. I'm um, using the uh, Akuma Makara 30. So you kind of see that black line right there. I explained in the last video, I use a football field, goal post to goal post. So that's the other color we're going to be using today. Same color when I lost the one with uh, Taku. It was on this one, bought a replacement. All right, Eric, go up to speed now. We got both lines out. All right, plan is to uh, probably try for about three hours for the tuna, then we're gonna go for crab. So, hoping to pick up a tuna here. Unless you've experienced sitting in the boat doing this, waiting for that line to peel out and then it happening, it's probably the best feeling you can get fishing. So we'll see if it can happen for us again today. All right, I like the view from this camera last time. You get to see us back here. So we'll try that one again here. There's stuff right there. Oh yeah, yeah, right here. Oh, oh yeah, jump! Oh, no. jump. Yeah. Yeah. Jump. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, god, get ready, guys. That was a tuna for sure. You saw those tuna in there, huh? I saw I some. Saw, I saw two. There's one right there. Oh yeah. Oh my god, they're jumping like crazy. With my limited experience, when I see fish jumping and I'm next to them, I just try and drive straight with maybe a slight angle towards them. I don't do a circle. The lines are so far back, I feel they run best if I go straight by them. So far it's worked well for me. In about one minute, our lines will be hitting this spot. 
Pretty cool to know they're in the area, huh? Somebody call them Manny, go for Manny. Yeah, I didn't look around to see that they were in front of us. We're gonna get one here soon. Bunch of birds in front of us. Oh shit, it is nuts up here. I mean fucking nuts. Yeah, I guess. Of stay birds. to the right. Stay to the right, but stay. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Yeah, they're oh they're good. there's foam. There we go. Oh. Be careful, Eric. Tighten the drag! Slowly lift the drag up! Come here, give me a cool. There's another mark. Chris, you want to... Was there? So that's one. Yeah, jump in, Chris. Oh, now it feels big. I know. Oh, yeah. Maybe we got a, um, what do they call it with the link cod? Hitchhiker? Hitchhiker. <laughs> I can't even reel now. Yeah, he's... Good luck. He changed his tone. Chris, you're next. How's the angle? Uh, I don't know where the boat is off our uh, starboard side. But yeah. Chris, you should come uh, try this now. Put some lines back in right now. Looks like you're turning from us. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Uh, we just got one. Jesus. It's taken line. Take him. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Just let it go. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, oh, don't go for it, yeah. Chris, this is the rod and reel we use on the big eye. So oh yeah, same, same one. Leader. Not. Be careful, oh. be careful. Someone needs to get to the boat. I got it, I got it. It's a big fish. <laughs> yeah. It, it's turn. spiral. It's spiraling. Okay, the apps are ready. He's going on. He's he's going under by the. Mo okay, he's coming back. Okay, we're getting close. Oh my god, it's big. I kept hitting that that plate. Welcome aboard, big guy. Yes. Just look the end noise. But God, that was a terrible gaff. Sorry. The fish gave us some tricks. It's a big one. It is big. Nice fish, Chris. Woo! Got a baby. What an experience, huh? That is crazy. Oh, that shot. Look, look at it boiling. Pretty nuts, right? I figured this would be a good time to take a moment and mention today's video sponsor again. Remember to visit betterboat.com or the links in the description to get great deals on supplies to clean your boat and more.
just so you know, this rod threw up next to the left. And it's time to turn. So come to the left. Uh, Nothing. Jumping in front of us. Nothing. Like, pull. We're bringing you your new friend. <laughs> well, we did it again. Got a big tuna on the boat. So, plan right now. Uh, we're gonna troll the area in you know, another half hour, 45 minutes. We gotta give it a good shot for a second one. Since there was so much activity there, it's foggy, it's hard to find it again. We're kind of going through the spots. The birds are just sitting on the surface right now. So maybe the fish went back down, but any moment they can uh, come back up and you know, we know they're in the area. So pretty soon we'll go and uh, get our Dungeness crab season started though. So let's see if we can get one more bluefin before we go do that. behind oh, us. Oh my yeah. God, this came out of the water. Yeah, that was a big one right too. Here. You can catch it. God, I know. I was just thinking that. Just go, go, go fast. He's trying. Big oh! Yeah. So they're boiling right behind us right now, close to the boat. And Chris is about to reel the line right through it. Turn the camera towards all that stuff. Good job. Oh! oh. <laughs> Eric, turn that camera. Where? Try and straighten the boat out a little, Eric. Ooh. Oh, now he's taking mine. Uh, straighten it out a little, Eric. Not too much, too little. Yeah, right there. There he goes. Oh, Jesus. That was like everything I brought in right there. You ready? Yeah, it's a good fish. You can't take back what you lost there? No. <laughs> Eric, straighten it out. Other way. Oh, yeah. Keep cranking. So he's 120 yards out. Yeah, straighten it out. No, you just it's off right now. It's fine. But we're if you straighten it out, it'll tighten the tension a teeny bit. So Eric and I are gaffing, right? That's the leader right there. Here, Eric, go. Eric, hold the start reeling. Start reeling. 
to hurt really. There's the leader. Get ready to take it to the side soon. You two work on that. Communicate. Right. Probably bring it up even more, Chris. Okay, real. Let's go right here. Sit on it. Go up more. The motor's scaring him. Yeah, he's running. Okay, turn, turn. Get ready, Chris. You don't have to bring it out. Okay, we're good. good turning, Eric. Okay, you gotta tell me what to do. Okay, straighten out, straighten out. Eric, straighten out. Oh, shit. It's like all the leader. Oh, God. It's a big one. Real, 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 real. Oh, he tried some yeah. fucking trick there. Chris. Good? Get in there. Get in there. Look, he's right here. He's coming in. There are a couple holes in line. Pulling it all back out now. It's a big fish. Dude. Let's go, battle it. Battle it. Turn left. I don't want to break it. Though. No, don't break it. Let's go slow. We got plenty of time. Line's coming in now. Oh. All right. Get ready. It's got to get closer now. Let's just gave up some wine. Uh, all right, here he comes. Oh, and then he pulls. Oh man, dude. he's trying to Yeah, stuff he's out. big. He's gotta be huge. I see it down there now. I see color. Slow down a teeny bit more, maybe. Just a teeny. I don't know if you can. I don't know if we want to go in neutral. I'm not. I'm not sure if we want to do that yet. I see him. Okay, he, I see color. I'm pretty sure he's weakening out right now. Okay, great, get the gaff, Chris, get the gaff. Oh my God, he's big. Yep, this is it, this is it. Just keep going, just keep going. You got him. We're gonna have him in one minute. Don't stop. Okay. Probably maybe two more cranes. Yeah, you're pretty close, Eric. Really close. He's probably five feet down. I feel like we're just dragging the bone. Okay, let's go. Lift up, Eric, and walk back. Lift the rod and go. Go, Eric. Just go. Go. Reel, reel if you can. Reel. Chris, get ready. Can't reel. Go, go, go. No, go. Don't stop. Don't touch there, Chris. Oh, that's perfect. Like that. We're really close. I don't know if I can do this. You got it. You got it, man. Okay, I think we're ready. Try and do it again, Eric. Another half reel. Okay, do it again, Eric. Let's do this. He's flicking his tail. He's trying to swim away again. Here, here. He's taking line. Yeah. We don't want him to. Here we go. Here, he, he, he's giving up. Here we go. Lift up. Lift him for the rod. Go. Oh, he's down there deep. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. My god. I got a huge blister on my hand. Do you want me to take over yeah. this part? Okay. I got a huge blister. What do I need to reel a little bit yeah. more? Yeah. Eric, get ready though. Keep going. Oh. Okay, we're here. We're here. Let's try it again. Lift up, Chris. I'm gonna get one more. Because he's taken again. Chris, I didn't want to be on that. Here you go. Go. Couple more. Couple more. No. Just, you gotta. You gotta go. Get him. 
Quick, two go, two go. Get him, get him, get him. Okay, get the cooler out of the way. Release line on the slack. He's done, dude. Okay. Get everything out of the way. Get the rod on my way, one. Put the hook right here, one. Two, three. Get the other gas. Oh my god, big huge. Oh. Jeez, huh? Oh my, oh my. god. Great teamwork, guys. Woo! What a freaking team fish. What a reward. Oh man, Chris. Oh, Eric. Holy oh crap. my god, guys. Almost just probably just short. Big bird that just arrived. <sighs> <laughs> we are all chugging water right now. We are spent. This fish hasn't moved since it's been on the boat yet. It's spent too. Time to take care of this fish. We're going to start driving in slowly to the uh, crowding grounds. Try and get some dungeness now. Top off this day. That's a 200 pounder. <sighs> Crab. Can you take a picture of it? Like, uh, it was just the treble in the, in the corner. See that? I have one. Oh, yeah, too. Uh, oh, Back into shallower water now. What are we starting out here? We're 120 feet. All right, so we're gonna grab our bag here that has heron I caught in the SF Bay and some albacore I caught in Fort Bragg. Couldn't imagine a better little recipe of goodness for these guys. So we wanna get our bait centered as well as we can and to Today we're using these uh, Promar hoop nets. These are uh, smaller size, but they still work really well. Um, I added a little weight. Today the current's slow, don't really need it, but it's in there already. So I have two of the bigger size hoop nets, but for room today, we just wanted to uh, bring these four smaller ones. They fit in the bow roll nicely. All right, go ahead and Toss that one down. All right, guys, our uh, 2023 season starting. Wow, look at the oils in the water. Come look at this. Oh my. The oil, no, the oil from the bait. The whole water's just full of oil everywhere. So I don't know if you guys can see that right there, but on that yellow buoy, there's this floating green line. Don't use line that floats out here. I mean, People are gonna, you know, get that stuck in their motor. You're gonna lose your crab pot. It's no fun for both people. All right, number two. So the first two I threw in had 150 feet of rope, threw those 120 feet of water and 105 feet of water. But the other two have 100 feet of rope. And we're gonna throw that about 80, 85 feet, and the other one maybe 70 feet. You always gotta, uh, you gotta leave a little extra room there. You can't throw a hundred foot rope in a hundred feet of water or your buoy's gonna sink. All right, number four, we've got underwater camera. Go ahead and throw that one down. So we dropped the first one maybe about a half hour ago. We're probably gonna pull that one maybe about 15, 20 minutes, get a, a soak, maybe just a little under an hour. We're anxious to uh, kind of get going since we have these two bluefin in the boat. And we have a long day ahead of us to go fillet them and then deal with these crab we're gonna catch right now. 
How many do you guys think we're gonna get? Four pots? No, probably about an hour or so, let's just call it. Thinking we'll maybe even get close to limits, right? I think my bait's really good and it's opening day. All right, see you guys back at the first pool. Grab the first one here. here grab the gas. <laughs> one of the tricks is to not put tension on it yet. So you start winding it up because some crabs could jump out. To be honest, it doesn't feel that heavy. I guess these pots are a lot lighter than the heavier ones I used to. One keeper, maybe. Man, not good at all. Well, we didn't put that one in a good spot. Zero keepers. Hoping this number two is better. Uh, it feels a little heavier. Yeah, a little heavier. Oh yeah, definitely. You can tell the Scotty's working a little bit harder on this one, so that's a good sign. Oh yeah, definitely. Wow, so close together, really. This one's really struggling. <laughs> Oh, I see it. Oh, it's loaded. No way. Damn, it dropped. It was dropping out the back down right here. Oh my god. Get out of this pot, guys. You help me. Oh, is it? Oh! Shit! <laughs> okay. Lots of small, but. Yeah. Yeah, there's a jumbo in there. Check out this one, guys. Gauge Buster. What's mine? Put it off to the side. I know fishing game is going to be there, so I want to make sure it re reads good on both. See, it doesn't. No way. Yeah, but they go by what gauge you use. I don't think so. Do. Check that out. That you can get inside, not legal. This red one, it's keeper. I don't want to keep it on opening day with fishing in there. Still three. I think this is a keeper. Yes. Four, right? So that's right. I have two crab gauges that aren't measuring equal at five and three quarters inch. On one gauge, the crab is legal. On the other, it's not. Back at the dock, I asked Fish and Game what would happen if I kept the crab. They responded, If I found an undersized crab in your possession, I would ask you how you measured it. If it did in fact show it was legal on your gauge, I would inspect your gauge for defects or manipulation. If I deemed no foul play, you wouldn't be in trouble. Oh, there it is. All right, got it. All right, well, number three here. You can 
There's some good ones in there. Yeah, actually, it's a really good pull. Nice. It's like five nice ones, that's it. Really? Yeah. Four, four yeah. jumbos. That's what right. happens when the big ones chase the smaller ones out. One's not. One's not. Oh, one's one small. If I'm at a four, it'll be 12, it'll be great. Big crab, wow. More gauge busters. Five. Five. Nice, that's what we wanted. Six. Oh yeah. Seven. Oof. So clean. Oh, these things are all Eight. just what you want. God. All right, well, the fourth and final one for us today on the opener. Feeling really good after getting those, uh, that last pull with four big ones. So we got eight total now. Eric, please. So this is the one with the camera in it. Similar, three big ones. Definitely happy to get some nice big jumbos. Let me look at these. Well, we got 11 Dungeness Crab. I'm pretty sure 10 of them are jumbo size. Really nice, really good quality. And we had the pots soak only for an hour, four of them. So pretty good results for the opener there. But man, that's the trophies right there. Two nice big bluefin tuna. We got them uh, on ice right now with that towel over them. So um, fun day out here today, guys. Awesome day, thank you. Man, huh? Amazing, tuna crab combo. What a way to start the season with those guys on board. So I uh, also want to thank today's video sponsor, Better Boat. They go ahead and uh, get back and wash the boat. Man, is it dirty right now? So if you guys are interested to see how we do that, stay tuned and also gonna have some pictures of us maybe filleting the fish and uh, yeah, trying to get on the boat. Man, that's gonna be a process. Long day ahead of us. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, later guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and test out the boat to salt right now. So I was just gonna make sure no Salt sticks to the boat, gives it a really good clean rinse. While we're just finishing up giving the boat a good spray down, go ahead and check out betterboat.com and get your boat clean. Here's the fish on the table. Go ahead and give it a measure right now. I'm using some fishing string and then we're gonna measure that. So you're on the, t Chris is holding a line on the fork of the tail right there. So, right there. All right, I'm gonna grab the tape measure right there, Chris. 66 and a quarter. 60. 66 and an eighth. So now we're measuring its girth. 43 and a half. 43 and three quarters. 43. So, 66 and 43. Got it. All right guys, so looks like it's 66 inches long and its girth is 43 inches.